there's a big opportunity for Switzerland to be an R&D hub for AI, but the AI train is moving fast and is easy to miss. We have a very long history of applied projects and innovation. We are well known for our research on optimization algorithms inspired by ANTS, so-called ANT colony optimization. And this research also inspired the swarm robotics, where simple robots create complex uh, swarm behavior through indirect communication in the way ANTS do. A pretty fashionable topic at the moment is LSTM, Long Short Term Memory, a type of neural network which all the big players are using, such as Apple, Google, Amazon, for things like Siri, Google Translate, uh, and other tools. Uh, we usually collaborate with companies through InnoSwiss, uh, the Swiss Innovation Agency, or sometimes companies give us a direct mandate uh, to speed up the work, for instance. Uh, these projects uh, last typically for a year and a half and can greatly help companies to innovate. One way or the other, we typically have about 20 applied projects in progress at all times. UBS, Mastercard, Novartis, Roche, Georg Fischer and Bystronic are among the companies with which we have worked or we are working. Natural language processing has been growing a lot recently uh, and we received numerous requests to work in this field, especially by companies in banking and insurance and in general uh, wherever text and regulations are a challenge. Uh, more generally, I think uh, all industrial sectors and companies should be growing fast at the moment, thanks to AI. Switzerland is very well positioned as an R&D knowledge hub. The government's annual investment in R&D as a percentage of GDP tops the world rankings, and big private players such as Roche, Novartis, UBS and ABB invest massively in research. Also, Switzerland's dense fabric of small and medium-sized enterprises are best in class in their fields. Uh, and in addition, the education system is extremely good with both academic and more applied streams. Switzerland has also a liberal and open approach. Take my case, for instance. I came here from Italy as a new PhD graduate and I've been able to form a large group of researchers and eventually become scientific director of ITSEA as well as a professor. Money definitely plays a part in to increase Switzerland's attractiveness as an AI research hub. Chief scientists in AI companies can earn several million dollars per year in the US, but even postgraduate students without a PhD, they can easily start work on a salary of $150,000. We should consider the financial aspects too and not just rely on the attractiveness of Switzerland as a place to live and work. And we also need more aggressive, risk-taking investors. Look at the very big companies in AI. They are all either in the US or in China. There is none in Switzerland or Europe. So my feeling is that we ought to be asking ourselves why. There's a big opportunity for Switzerland to be an R&D hub for AI, but the AI train is moving fast and is easy to miss.